Hi everyone, today is the third day of our training session with Andrea. She is very active. Yeah. She doesn't like to be on leash. Yes, see? She is trying to remove it. She does all what she can. She tries to bite. She's trying to resist. Actually, this resistance is a good sign of a puppy. Because any pressure, the puppy must resist instead of uh, getting freezed. Yeah, first she resists, then she understands there is no use of it, then she submits. Don't give the treat unless until she goes down. Yes. Yeah, the moment uh, the trainer holds the leash, she understands that it's going to be pulled. So, yeah, she sits. So, it takes almost a week the, for the puppy to understand the way the leash is pulled, whether it is downward, upward, where the pressure is coming. When it's pulled downward, the pressure comes on the upper neck. And, uh, uh, when we ask the puppy to uh, yeah. Yeah, she doesn't want actually she doesn't like to be controlled yeah she starts barking yes actually this is a good uh, you know sign uh, she starts barking and the trainer makes use of that tendency and uh, make it a command along with that so that she starts barking on command. She is asking for her food. Actually this barking did not start with the food. This barking started with the, her uh, a way of resistance. That I don't want to be on leash. I don't want to uh, you know, get into your training. I want to be free. And she tries to resist and actually let's uh, see she, she bites. She does all what she can to resist the train. See, see? Don't touch the leash. Because she knows that when I'm holding the leash, I'm going to pull. And she doesn't want. A dog who has got a high drive, initially they try to resist maximum. Yeah, this is another way of resistance. So she will move to left, right and uh, back and all, you know, while making the command and she doesn't sit uh, facing the trainer, she may sit sideways and sit. All these are signs of resistance. Because the puppy, it, it's very clear that puppy has not come into uh, that you know training mode. She has not started enjoying training. Yeah, she understands there is no use of barking. There, the, the trainer will continue with the training. She can't escape. Now it's a time that you know some entertainment should be uh, there for the puppy. We must 
see this is another way of uh, making a drive a prey drive high uh, but it's a, not a good practice with a leash okay because if we are doing with the leash uh, the puppy will have a tendency to bite the leash later uh, she won't allow to put on her head so this uh, this is a good practice with a pillow she tries to bite the pillow every time she bites the pillow we give the treat this pillow is called a biting pillow yeah she bites we keep the pillow moving in front of her because you know a dog a puppy who has got a, a prey drive uh, they have a tendency to catch anything that moves in front of them so we try to uh, improve that drive yes she bites this is what we want see she left to the pillow because the pillow is no more moving when it moves she wants to bite yes now it is dead she doesn't want yes she thinks that she has killed that prey now we are trying to irritate the puppy with that pillow initially we used to give the treat whenever she bite the pillow but now we do not want that we want the puppy to bite the pillow to kill that she has she has to develop certain enmity towards that pillow because that pillow irritates her yes she wants to kill that which disturbs her that which uh, uh, irritates her okay, that is how we uh, develop this prayer type thank you very much for watching this video we'll see you tomorrow bye bye